What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I am going to show you the best team to go in with duos, no matter what you get as a third, it does not matter, as I will show you. We are going to play a lot of really good people, we're going to play a team from Exclusive, we're going to play a team from my clan, the number three Aletta, and more, and then we are also going to play Empt. And our third is going to be a level one mark. That sucked. But it doesn't matter because you can dominate so hard by using Chemist Fort. It doesn't really matter what you use outside of that because of the fact that Chemist heals so much. Fort has that shield that can protect you and your third. And then your fort just does stupid damage. Let's be real. And if they get close to you at all, then the chemist can heal everyone and then also do some damage as well. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a chemist that knows how to play. So a big problem with chemist is a lot of people try to actually like horizontally shoot the heals and you always want to be pointing at the ground when you heal the reason for this is you want to be able to heal your teammate and you at the same time if you aren't pointing at the ground in between you and your teammate to heal both of you that will allow their team to be able to switch from either you or the guy that you need to heal and kill one of you really easily but if you're healing yourself and them, then there's absolutely no way you're going to end up dying to them switching the targets on you. So a big problem with chemist heals, though, is that it's not just that you need to know how to heal and also not try to go for damage. Yes, you heard that right. People who go for damage on chemist are almost always hurting their team because it is just a bad idea. You're way better off healing, and then if you get some damage in there, that's great. And if not, that's fine. You have fort, you do not need to damage. But the other thing you're gonna need is to have your team know how to play with chemist. And really the biggest thing is, is that if they get really low, they need to make sure that they go to the chemist and you need to try to do your best to keep your team to follow each other. That way you guys don't have people splitting across from each other because then they can just switch hard on one target and it can end up getting you caught in some pretty bad spots. So if you're going as duos, you're really going to want to follow your random third. That way you can always make sure you're all together because your random third isn't going to listen and they probably aren't going to be very good. So you're definitely going to need to heal them, but you also are going to mainly need your fort to stay alive because that's who's going to protect you and get most of your kills. But by following around your teammate, you can heal everyone all at once, and then you can end up making it where the other team's going to get less kills by just soloing on your teammate. But right here, we got my teammate pretty good, and we are just absolutely dominating. I go ahead and I do use my ultimate, and that gives us the 20-5 to victory versus some pretty insane players, including the number three, Aletta. And then we have about 100k heals, three kills, one death with seven assists, and it is pretty crazy we're able to beat that team. 20 to 5 with a random third. So this game is going to be a lot harder. So not only is our guy not playing right now, he's also level 1 mark and we are playing against some 1500 players that are a team of 3. So we're going to actually have to do some damage here. The biggest thing is you do not want to focus on damage as a chemist, but I wanted to include a game where you do have to get some of the kills because your third just sometimes won't be strong enough to help. And in those cases, you are probably going to have to help your fort get some of the damage. As you can see right there, he goes ahead and gets him low. He calls out the fact that the guy is low. And I'm going to run on top of him, pointing at the ground, to be able to shoot myself healing and also get the kill. That's the main thing you want to focus on, is when you are doing damage, you want to make sure the same way you're healing yourself, 
yourself and your teammate, you want to make sure you're doing the same thing when you damage where you're healing yourself and you're damaging them. You do not want to try to long range lob these things at people because you will get caught out and die way before you're able to heal and it will screw you really hard. And right here, they do make the push. Sadly, we wanted to go up the elevator, but I got ulted. Uh, enemy did make it up the elevator, but he did end up dying to the other guy. Right there, I fast forwarded because it was 20 seconds of literally just doing nothing. But our teammate with the no health goes down and then gets absolutely hit so hard. Having a level 1 against level 10s that are all like 14, 1500 is really rough, man. Especially because they know me and enemy are here because we beat them multiple times already today. So they know that guy is not with us and the fact that he's dying so fast, they have to know he has no levels. So it, it just sucks. And... To be very clear, I am not blaming that guy. I have no idea why I put a guy with 500 trophies in level 1 into this game because when you see the end screen, you're going to be very confused as well. But the good news is we do have Fort and Chemist and they can carry literally anything. And this gave me the perfect example to show that. And right here, there's only a minute and a half and we are down by two. This is really rough. So I'm going to go ahead and have to use my ult to be able to keep myself alive and then be able to heal. Right here, I am able to keep alive and then enemies able to kill someone. But since our teammate died, we are still down by two. And now we only have about a minute left and it's going to be really difficult now because we're going to have to go into their spawn and just do some crazy stuff if we don't really take some action here. And that's why enemy is kind of taunting them and trying to get them to come in here. The reason for that is he does AoE damage and then my heals and damage are all area on effect as well. And sadly, the fort ends up dying. There's only 48 seconds left. And the only way to win here is to make sure that I go out and kill the mark and then try to kill the fort. I was able to get them both and now I have my ultimate up. We only need one kill, and then I know my teammate screwed everything up, but it's okay. We're gonna wait for our fort to be behind us, pop our ultimate, because it's gonna give us 40% more damage, and that's why we're shooting straight into the ground to heal ourselves. He tried to lure me back into the spawn, but I was smart enough to realize, wait a minute, 15 seconds left there's no need at all to risk this and so I went down there I do get another kill and right here the most infuriating thing ever happens we are up by two with two seconds left and our level one who keeps dying instantly just jumped down and if I wasn't paying attention and followed him he literally would have died and we would have lost Luckily, I was paying attention. I do get the kill. And as you can see on this one, Chemist does do pretty good for the kills. Because you're going to rely on your fort to end up getting them low. And then you're going to jump on top of them, heal yourself, heal your fort, and kill them all at the same time. And then, I know what you're thinking, guys. Well, Imp is Imp. But will this work against some of the best clans? Well, I mean, it worked against my clan, and now you're going to see us play against Exclusive with another random teammate because, again, we are playing with the random teammates every time because uh, you don't need a teammate, guys. Fort is the most overpowered thing in the world, and Chemist does a great job of both healing and damaging all on top of where your fort's standing, so people can't really get close to you without taking damage, so they have to stay on the other side of your shield, and then if they come in, they basically automatically die, and then if you really need to, you can always push up with your fort if he says he has multiple of them low, then you can all push up and then kill them together. It's really nice, and it's just a really foolproof system, no matter what your teammate is, because the fort can do enough damage by himself. And you're going to keep the fort alive, and that's all you really got to do. 
right there, I do kind of overextend a little bit too much, but luckily, enemy is able to get back before I end up spawning, so it is going to be a nice little reset. We don't fully die. Right here, our hunter is going to die to theirs, because remember, these guys are actually good, and when you see the scores at the end, you may not think so. But I promise, it is these characters being broken, it is nothing to do with their skill level. These guys are very good, and it just happens to be the most broken cop ever. And that's why I'm showing you guys. So you guys can play it before it gets nerfed, because God knows it has to be nerfed soon. But um, again, tomorrow I will make a video on Fort, and that one will show you how to play from Fort's perspective on different things as a solo player. At 1100, I'm going to win TDM, uh, Payload Race, Crystal Assault, um, literally everything, including free-for-alls. Because Fort really is that good, I'll teach you how to use them long range and all that fun stuff. And one thing I also want to make uh, clear, don't necessarily stand in the middle the way we are. I just want to make it very, very clear how overpowered things are. So I went and tried to play the best people I could find and then do it with a random third and then just stand in the middle pretty much all game every game because um that's what i'm trying to get across that's how powerful this is because of the shield your heals the inability for people to get next to you without dying instantly and people just being afraid of fort in general yeah you can stand in the middle but if you do give yourselves more cover and give your fort something that he can kind of wall peek a little bit behind and he can't wall peek the way gloria can but he can just poke out shoot and then poke back in and right there never poke out to go kill the way i did there but this game was just so easy that I was like, ah, screw it. Let's go ahead and try to do some damage. Let's just be a like really bad aggro character. Because uh, we didn't even need me to be a healer at that point. I mean, it's rough, guys. And I already have the fort video being made. It should be out tomorrow or the next day. And it'll teach you how to play at about 1100 rating solo in any game mode and then win most of the time. I'll also teach you how to peek with them and then also how to do long range fire more accurately as well as just some other things that are in the basic tutorial. Thank you so much to my channel members and donators. Please leave a like and subscribe to help show this to more people. I really appreciate it and I hope you all have a great day.